very south of Space 158. And uh, we are still removing those thinner lay floor layers uh, and packings and trying to arrive on the same floor level, layer as, level as we have in the central part of the space. Uh, and it's a little more difficult to follow these uh, on, the, on the whole surface, these floors and packings, because they're so thin and because there is a steep slope of the floor. It's very, the floor is very high in the southwest corner and then it, it goes very steeply down. So we usually cut the floors horizontally and then we lose the continuity of those. But what is, um, uh, what's interesting is that in the very feature, in the very corner of, uh, so in the very, so uh, in the southwest corner of the building, uh, we have an earlier feature that was made of, uh, uh, of white clay again, of plaster, but was really very neatly truncated later on. And we know why it was truncated, because we had on top of it, we had a, a nice big oven, and then on top of that oven, uh, later on, was built uh, a niche. We had our niche feature 607 right in that corner and right on top of this truncated feature. Now, the truncated feature is a little unusual, and um, because it is so heavily plastered and because it is so uh, corner, so, so much tucked in the corner, and, and the filling, the infill of the feature is unusual, so we'll see what it is. And another unusual thing is this round, uh, round little feature that looks like a post hole, but most likely is not, but then it could be. But it's very regular, and it has the same infill as this other corner feature. Uh, it, it's very, it would be a little unusual for it to be the post hole because it's so far away from either the interior wall or the south wall of the building. And, uh, but it could be also related, as I said, to this corner feature and we'll, we'll work on it. David will work on it. Mm -hmm.